Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, it is Nikki here. So today I have such an exciting video for you guys. I am really excited. It's going to be a Primark haul. So those of you that know me know that I love Primark. My lookbooks always consist of Primark and I have, I happen to have been to the Oxford Street one. But the things that I am going to show you are collective over the last two weeks. So there's Primark on Oxford Street and then there's different Primarks all over London that I have been to that I might have just picked up a couple of bits. So before I stop babbling, I'm just going to get stuck in to the video. So the first item that I'm actually going to talk about are these Opia rings. They're in rose gold and you actually get... 12 of them so you're going to get large medium and small and i've got them on right now that's why they're not on the pack but they're absolutely beautiful really nice stackable rings really nice if you are taking a lot of photography if you want to wear in general but if you are taking like instagram pics and your breast in your hand near your chin the rings come in handy there um, I absolutely love them. I feel like they're quite dainty as well. They're not too chunky so you can stack them with other rings and they're a beautiful rose gold colour. Then the next thing that I have out of the goodie bag is the Primark earrings. Now you get nine pairs of earrings. These are just studs that go from small studs to medium to large studs and they are 150 Like I don't think that you can complain for 150 I do tend to get my earrings from Primark because I don't need to go to places like I don't know like Topshop or River Island and spend splurge out to get a pair of earrings I rarely wear them so I thought I'd just pick them out and they look really pretty and dainty in the ear as well now next I picked up this choker it's like an alphabet choker so you can write whatever you want on it now I'm not gonna lie I purposely bought this choker literally just for Instagram. I thought it'd be really cute if I put its lit on it, which I think is absolutely adorable. Put it around the neck and then got like a red lip or a lip shot in with it with a lipstick. That's the whole reason behind it. But trying to get these alphabet letters onto this choker, I practically had to break the choker, put the letters on and then unbreak it, fix it all back up. So it probably wasn't worth it. It was about two, it was about two, three, two or three pound. Um, I wouldn't buy it again just for the sole reason that I couldn't actually get the letters on. So it didn't do what it said on the tin. But I still nonetheless love the idea and I'm sure you'll see it in an Instagram post soon. The next thing that I got were these pair of sliders. And when I saw them, I was like, shit, Primark, these are banging. They've also got um, a pair of like blush colored ones similar to this jacket and they say life's beach or life's a beach I believe but I preferred these ones they're just simple black and white and they say whatever on them also bought them because I thought they'd make a really cute Instagram picture which I still think they will I love sliders I've loved sliders ever since Rihanna came out with the Fenty Puma sliders the fair ones and I always wanted to get them but I just couldn't justify paying that amount of money for a pair of slippers so we got these ones and I feel like they're really pretty I'm also a size 3 for any of you guys wondering but they have so many sizes and they're still out right now I also picked up these shoes now these shoes are not like me at all but the reason why I got them is because when I wear my heels sometimes my heels hurt and I felt like these ones you can actually fold up so they fold up really small and you can pop them in your handbag um, and you can take them out take your heels off instead of walking barefoot which I'm not gonna lie I have done a couple of times if my feet hurt my feet hurt I need to take my shoes off so I didn't want to do that anymore so I just got these I just thought they were really convenient really easy and they stop my feet from hurting as well now I'm actually going to move on to my favourite purchase out of all of these purchases. I couldn't believe this when I saw it and I'll explain to you why. It was on sale first of all, on sale and it's this velvet, velvet padded bomber jacket in blue. It's coming up a lot brighter because of the ring light but it is more of a navy blue padded sleeves. It's got like a padded collar to it. God, this is so difficult to show you guys. Padded collar, straight zip down the bottom. Really nice, um, really nice collar to it. Really, really cozy and the sleeves are padded and it's just plain on the back as well. Now the reason why I can't actually believe that I found this is because guys, it is a size 14 so it is a little bit bigger but I don't mind that on me. I couldn't find any more. I felt like this was the last one. I didn't know where they were at all but guys it was on sale for £14. 
Now me and Primark and jackets are absolutely in love. You'll see that most of these things that I have bought are jackets because I absolutely love Primark jackets. I love them for their basics and I love them for their jackets. And the reason why I can't believe that I got this one is because basically the day before I went to Primark, I actually was on Instagram, scrolling through Instagram, and Boohoo liked to tease me with their pictures. So they put up this series of three velvet padded jackets and I absolutely fell in love. Now Instagram is literally a fail for me. I need to stop going on it because as soon as I saw it, I went straight onto their site, looked it up, searched it up, and there was a rose velvet jacket, there was a khaki, and there was a navy I believe, I can't remember, but there was a different colour and I was like umming and ahhing what colour to get because I knew I was going to get it. So I actually went and purchased the khaki one. Now just bearing in mind that this is from Boohoo and it's more or less exactly the same. If I do say so myself, I feel like the Primark one is better suited to me. This one is a beautiful colour, don't get me wrong, but it's more or less exactly the same, like a velvet bummer all plain and puffy really really cute but the difference is the Primark one was 14 pound and the Boohoo one was 45 so actually I think I'm gonna send this one back because I don't feel like I need to even though I love this one so much I'm gonna see but I might send this one back and then just keep the Primark one nice um, they look like this the reason why I got these is because I see I saw Kate Monroe, I believe her name is, Kate from Dolly Bobo, she was talking about these and she said that she absolutely loved them, she said she loved the band and she said that they were really, really comfy and she'd got them in an acid wash and she was asking whether they, anyone had seen them in like a black or any other colour. So Kate, if you're watching, the Tottenham Court Road Primark do have the black ones. Now, they're just straight down and I am quite short, I'm at five foot. So I do just have to roll them up, but I don't mind that because they're still pretty. They are more of like a grey black, not a true black, and I think they're really, really nice. Now, personally, I don't actually wear jeans. I wear leggings a lot, just because I find jeans to be quite bulky for me, and because I'm quite short, I have like this weird thing where I feel like they make me look bigger on the bottom, but my legs are, tend to be quite slim where I don't want them to look... I don't know, I just feel like they don't make me look proportionate, which is all up in my head, and I know that. But these are really, really, really comfy, and that's what I like about them. That's another thing, I just feel like jeans aren't that comfy. I like something that is really, really super skinny, and these are. So if you guys do see them in your local Primark, then definitely try them on if you don't really like wearing jeans, or you're not used to wearing jeans. Now, talking of leggings, I actually picked up these pair of leggings. I feel like it's tradition when I go into Primark, you have to pick up a pair of leggings. And I actually picked up their cosy legging, and they are really, really soft inside. I haven't actually tried them on yet. These were £5, and they're just your basic black legging, but I do get a lot of use at them. And I, like I said, every time that I do go to Primark, which is quite often, I do just tend to pick up a pair of their leggings just because I always wear them. Then next are just some underwear. I don't know why I'm showing you guys my underwear. It doesn't really make sense, but they happen to be in the bag. These ones are just like your normal brief underwear. You've got grey, you've got khaki, and you've got a blush tone. Nothing that fancy, just some underwear to sleep in, and they were three pound for three. I just think they're quite cute, actually, aren't they? And then I just picked up a pair of thongs. I guess we're all gals here. Just a pair of thongs, just to wear, and these were also three pound for three. I do, I do tend to like getting the packs as opposed to the individuals, just because they are a lot easier. And I really like the colours of these, a maroon, a coral, and then kind of a blush nude. So I thought they were really pretty. Next, I've got a jacket that I've been wearing since I got it. Now, this jacket was actually on sale, still on sale at the moment. Absolutely stunning. So it looks like this. It's got faux leather, and then it's got the fur. Um, this one's all in black and this was actually on sale for £14 again from I believe 24 absolutely stunning it's got the fur on the back as well and I feel like I've been complimented a lot on this it just looks a lot more expensive than what it is it's got the really nice zip detailing on the sleeve and it sort of looks like this from the front now I love this jacket so much that I actually ended up getting it in and black as well again 14 pound 
but it looks like this. It just gives you a better idea of what it looks like. It looks like this. I just feel like they do look a lot more expensive. I haven't worn this one yet. The reason why I actually went for the black is because I thought I'd get a lot more use out of it, which I have done. I felt like this when I first saw it was actually a bit garish. I did think that, but I liked it. Do you know when something is a little bit too garish, but you like it? That's how I felt about this jacket. And it's just cream, cream faux fur. Really pretty for £14, I think. Now, I tend to have this habit that when I find something that I like or I absolutely love, I have to sort of get it in all of the colours. So, I saw this jumper, um, and it's really cute, really loungy, and it's got these holes in it. And it's just quite a long jumper. Now, I got them in two different sizes. I got this one in just a size 12. They do come up oversized. So you can wear it as just like a big slouchy jumper or you can wear it as a dress. Um, a really nice sort of charcoal colour as well. Really, really cute. And then because I liked it so much, I actually got it in this kind of sage sage green slash nude but i got this one in a 14 the reason why i got it in a 14 was just because i wanted to wear it as a dress i thought it'd be really cute with my asic whisper whisper pink trainers and just this as a dress just really cute and the sleeves are really sweet as well because they've got like a frayed detailing really kind of like basic yeezy vibes that's what i felt when I saw this and I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. Now this jumper was £8 so they came in at £8 each. So the next thing that I picked up was actually just this makeup bag or bag in general. The reason being is because I tend to travel a lot and I carry a lot of makeup with me when I travel. I thought this would be really good when I just want to put my basics in for a couple of days or also if I just wanted to separate my makeup as well and it's just pretty cute isn't it. It says be more unicorn and it's just got this holographic print that goes all the way around. Just really cute. I always tend to pick up like the Primark makeup bags just because they are really handy for me. And this one came in at £4. So I don't think you can really complain for this size of bag. And it's really cute as well. Then the next item of clothing that I picked up and I've been wearing a ton is just this waterfall blazer. Now Primark have been doing these waterfall blazers in really beautiful colours recently. And I managed to get it in a nude. I found this one in nude. And then I've also got it in like a blush pink. I've got it in a blush pink. And then they also came out with this blush pink, which is more of a salmon color, but it doesn't have the waterfall bit. So it just kind of hangs straight down. Really, really pretty again. And then I also got the same jacket in a khaki, which just looks like this. Now, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I wear these all of the time, especially like on nights out or when I know that my photograph's going to be taken. The reason being is because it just slims you down. I don't know what it is about the waterfall cut, but this part that kind of dangles down the front edge, you guys know what a waterfall coat is, um, is absolutely stunning and just so flattering. I feel like it makes me look that little bit taller when I'm wearing heels as well. So I literally just pick them up. I've also got one in black. So I think I've got every single colour that Primark do in their waterfall blazers at the moment. And they all come in at about, I believe it's £14. Sorry, I've taken all the tags off them because I've already worn them in the last couple of weeks. But they come in at around £14 to £16 at the moment. Um, and I hope that they come out in more and more colours because I would get them all. Then I've also picked up this candle. It is in the scent Vetiver and Vanilla. I absolutely love the packaging of these Primark candles. I do have quite a few dotted around my room and they do smell really nice. These candles come in at £3, but they do quite a few different ones at the moment. I just love these ones because I have tried them. I've tried the one that is in the pink, which is French Vanilla that's just sitting over there. And then I've tried a few others as well. But I do really like the Primark candles and I just feel like they look really, really classy as well. Then this was actually an impulse buy. I bought it, you know when you're literally just paying for everything and you see it and I think, ah, oh, because I've been wanting one of these, it's a power bank. My phone battery seems to die. By the end of the day, it's going to die and I always struggle and I don't carry my charge around with me all the time and I need just a quick fix. And I know a lot of people that have these, not the Primark ones, but I know a lot of people that have power banks. 
I really just needed one. So I actually picked this up because I saw it whilst I was paying. It was £8 and it just says a power bank and it says charging power when you need it the most. And it says that it charges phones, smartphones, iPods, game consoles, MP3 players, cameras and sat navs. I've not actually had a look into this so I'm not too sure how it does it as of yet. I'm pretty sure that you just plug it in and charge it but I'm not too sure with the cables and all of that but I'm pretty sure it should just be like the Apple cable that I put in. I feel like this is just going to save my life from time to time because I'm always running out of battery when I need it the most. Now the last thing that I'm actually going to talk about are these acrylic drawers. Now the reason why I'm going to talk about them is I just recently went back and bought two more. These come in at £3 or £3.99, something silly like that and I think they are absolutely beautiful and so convenient. They're just pull out drawers that you can pull out like this. And I just put in my lip bits, you know the ones that kind of don't fit on that acrylic stand that I have all my lipsticks on. These ones are for like liquid lips and I can actually like just stack them one on top of the other on my dresser. And they're just so handy. Now this is getting heavy so I'm going to put it down. But they are absolutely stunning and really convenient, really affordable. Very similar to like the um, Muji ones or like TK Maxx. I know a lot of people look for them, a lot of people eBay them. Um, just acrylic drawers, you can put absolutely anything in them. They're not too deep, but perfect for like lip stuff, lip products. So that is it guys for my Primark haul. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. I had so much fun showing you guys what I bought. I am a Primarni baby and I do tend to kind of go to Primark like on a weekly basis, which is really bad. But if you guys like this sort of video, then let me know down below just so I can make this like a monthly thing. I'm happy to do like a collective haul. Or if you like hauls in general, makeup hauls, clothing hauls, whatever hauls you want to see, let me know down below. I'm ha more than happy to share all of my steals with you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you are new, then make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video.